Transitions are inevitable, but they don't have to be unbearable. With the right coaching and training, they can even be profitable. Let us be your strong bridge from where you are to where you want to be. There are basically three ways to respond when transitions or disruptions occur. We can panic, we can become paralyzed, or we can learn to pivot. Now, if we panic, that means we abandon the course and direction that we were on. It's like walking down a path, an obstacle occurs we didn't anticipate or plan for. We throw up our hands, we cast out reason, and we let out a yelp, turn around, do an about face, and go the other direction. We just abandon everything we'd been working for or towards. That's one way to respond when transition and disruption occurs but it's rarely a good way. In fact, it is very difficult to recover from. Or we can become paralyzed. Yeah, this is not a lot better than panicking. It just lacks all the frenetic energy. Uh, it literally is the opposite. We just do nothing. We, we hunker down. We try to wait it out. We don't change anything. We don't respond at all. We just hope to survive, that this will all blow over, and we can just keep going doing what we were doing. Now, you might survive if that's how you choose to respond. The problem is you will forfeit the opportunities of learning, growing, improving, becoming innovative and creative, and getting better at what you do. That's one of the things about challenging seasons. They help us. They give us opportunities to grow. If we do nothing, if we do not... Uh, alter our course in any way, make any changes, and just get paralyzed, we might survive it, but we won't benefit from it. The third way is that we can learn to pivot. I know, I know. If you watch the show Friends and you remember Ross yelling over a couch coming up a stairway, pivot, yeah. But here's the thing. Pivot is an incremental adjustment of our direction. It's the way that we can continue to make forward progress and deal with obstacles and challenges. This is the best response to transitions and disruptions. When we are able to just pivot, not abandon where we were going, not cast it aside, do an about face and run away in panic, not hunker down, being paralyzed and doing nothing with no response, but actually continuing to move in the directions that we were going, only making incremental adjustments to address and navigate the challenges the season has presented. This is how we learn, how we grow, how we improve. It, it's how we become innovative and creative. And it's what will cause us to do more than simply survive this transitional season. It can actually enable us to thrive. Transitions and disruptions are inevitable. Being prepared is a choice. Is your team ready for the next disruption? We can help.